So good day everyone and welcome to our lesson one for our online class here in Statistics and Probability. So our first lesson for today is called Introducing Statistics under Chapter 1, Exploring Data. So here are our objectives for today. We are going to identify questions that can be answered using a specific process, appreciate the importance of describing the process needed, and to create questions that can be answered using a statistical process. For example, let's create questions for the following topics. I have here listed two topics. We have age and then dogs and cats. So for, our, for age, I created the question, what is the age of our teacher? Next, for dogs and cats, I created the question, do dogs eat more than cats? Now, why don't you try to create questions for the following five topics? We have your math teachers, Philippines, Filipino children, classmate, and statistics. So create a question for each and then write it down. Now, after creating your five questions, let's divide them into two groups. The first group has, the first group of questions has a correct answer, which is based on a fact, and you don't need the process of inquiry to answer such kind of questions. These are the questions can be answered by a piece of information, which is always considered true, so fact. For example, there is one and only one correct answer to the first question in the first group. And that is your teacher's age as of his as and that is your teacher's age as of his or her's last birthday. So there is only one and only correct answer. For the second group of question, our answer differs. So these are the questions that can be answered by observation or data collection. You need to get observation or responses from all the of from all those parties or from all those concerned to be from all of those concerned to be able to answer the question. Now, try to group your five questions into these two groups. First group is for facts, one and only answer. The second group is for answer differentiation or answer differs from each type of question needing observation. Notice that in the two groups, data is needed to be able to answer the question. Using data to find an answer or a solution to our problem or an inquiry is what we call the statistical process. Now, statistical process is under statistics. So let's first tackle what is statistics. Actually, statistics is defined as a science that studies data to be able to make a decision. You can see here that I have here in the second point, we have state from state affairs. This is because statistics is actually taken from the word state affairs. For statistics is always, for statistics is used in the conduct of censuses, either for military or fa for taxation purposes. Formally, we define statistics as a science that involves the methods of collecting, processing, summarizing, and analyzing data in order to provide answers or solutions to our inquiry. So our goal in statistics is to find an answer to a solution or to an inquiry by using this statistical process. For example, in our question earlier, I created the question, do dogs eat more than cats? So in order to answer that question, I have to consider some of the factors. Animal weight, animal age, amount of food in their diet, the type of food they eat, wet or dry food, um, the breed of the animal, and when to observe these animals. After considering all these factors, we're going to move on to the four steps of the statistical process, which is collecting, processing, summarizing, and analyzing data. For collecting data, we have to plan or design the collection of the data, collecting the data as stated in the plan. Are we going to gather all the groups of dogs and cats? Are we going to consider the dogs and cats in the Philippines or also the dogs and cats in other countries? Next. Processing. This is verifying the quality and integrity of the data after they, they were collected. Was there bias in your collection of data? Next, summarizing. This is summarizing the information extracted from the data. So we, we can summarize this data using the form of tables, graphs, charts, and even a short essay. Next, we have analyzing. Analyzing is examining the summary statistics, so analyzing your table or analyzing your graph so that the insight and meaningful information can be produced to support decision making. So after analyzing, we can now answer the question, do dogs eat more than cats by using our four-step statistical process. 
Okay? So that's it for our lesson one and welcome to online classes.